This week's weekly ritual is dedicated to the people of Ukraine. We are with you. What's up, everybody? It's Keefe, and you're watching the Weekly Ritual Ghost Cults News Show right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. GhostCultMan.com is a small business. With that out of the way, let's get into it. In case you missed it, features a ghost cult. We kick this week's features off with our interview with Kirk Winstein of Crowbar. Their new album is out today. We also talked to Jim from New Jersey band Dying Light. Their album, Far From Life, is out now. Our own Duncan Evans interviewed artist Sylvain for her new album, Novo, which is out today on Season of Mist. You can check that out on the Ghost Cult Magazine podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And you can catch me on the Glacially Musical Podcast. Beer, metal, swearing, vinyl, and much more. This week, we continue our series on the solo career of Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin. And now, the news rundown. Danzig has announced his long-anticipated Lucifuge 2 American tour, which he will play that entire album in its entirety. Direct support to come from Cradle of Filth and Crobot. Kicking off a tour this week, Overkill and Prong, two legends of East Coast Thrash, will hit the road for a string of dates. Prong will be joined by their new drummer, Griffin McCarthy. Mastodon has announced a string of headline tour dates ahead of their co-headline tour with Opeth. Joining them will be their friends in Chemis. Rise Against has announced a headline tour of the U.S. with the used and census fail. Steve Von Till of Neurosis will embark on a headline tour of the U.S. this summer in which he will support both of his recent solo releases and his current lyrics and poetry book. Laura Jane Grace of Against Me has announced a solo headline tour of the U.S. Hailstorm has announced a new headline tour of the U.S. to support their upcoming new album and they will be joined by Stone Temple Pilots, Mammoth WVH, and Blackstone Cherry. Death Metalers Gate Creeper have announced a headline tour. Direct support to come from Narrowhead, 200 Stab Wounds, and Fury. Bay Area Thrash Metalers Defiance have reunited in the last couple of years for a bunch of tour dates, and they have a bunch of tour dates coming up this spring in California. The much maligned Blue Ridge Rock Festival, which Ghost Cult covered in 2021, has been leaking out details for 2022, and they have announced a slew of bands. Among the bands already announced include Kitty, Lacey Sturm, Butcher Babies, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Suicide Silence, Buck Cherry, Nonpoint, In Flames, Bad Omens, Ginger, A Skylit Drive, Smile Empty Soul, Fire from the Gods, Anthrax, Kill Switch Engage, Comeback Kid, Lamb of God, Fear Factory, and more. Concert Juggernaut Live Nation has announced a long pass deal for the summer where countless of their shows, mostly at amphitheaters where they have a lawn and seating and a stage, can get you a ticket, one price for the whole summer, lawn seats for every show. Check it out. I Am Morbid is the band featuring David Vincent of Morbid Angel. That band will undertake a tour soon commemorating 30 years of the classic Morbid Angel album, Blessed Are the Sick. News has come down that drummer Pete Sandoval will now join the tour, and it's the first time David and Pete have played together in over 12 years. Other members of I Am Morbid include Bill Hudson of North Tail and Doro and Kelly McLaughlin of Pessimist. Los Angeles metalers Evil Dead have announced a big show at the Glass House in Pomona. Direct support on the show will come from Ex Mortis, The Reunited Binded by Blood, and a few more bands. Brujeria has announced a headline tour of the U.S. Joining them will be Goat Whore and Unidad Trauma. Carpenter Brute has announced a North American headline tour to support their upcoming new album. Frank Turner and the Sleeping Souls has announced a headline tour of the U.S. supporting his new album, Frank Turner Hardcore. Post-Hardcore Kings Glassjaw have delayed the start of their upcoming tour. They have rescheduled the first week of dates. The tour will now kick off on March the 10th. This is due to a hospitalization of one of the bands. We don't know who, but please get well soon. Two more bands kicking off a tour this week. Swedish doom metal bands and brothers, Monolord and Firebreather. For Firebreather, it's going to be their first tour of the U.S. ever. And Monolord will be supporting their current album, the excellent 2021 album on Relapse Records, Your Time to Shine, one of Ghost Cult's albums of the year of 2021. The story of the week is war in Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine last week. Many people around the world have taken up arms. Many bands and musical artists have personally affected. Ginger has made several statements. One, that they are okay and safe, as well as their families. But two, decrying this invasion of Ukraine. Uh, several Soviet bands have come out, like Slaughter to Prevail, saying they don't condone these actions. And most of Russia is not in support of this war. 
Many bands have created charities. Vogue from Machine Head and Decapitated personally drove supplies from Poland three hours away to the soldiers at the Ukraine border to support them. The Acacia Strain has a charity cert. Probably your band and many other bands and fans of bands have created charities you can support with your dollars and your social share. The next Bandcamp Friday is today. So if you got a band, promote it. And if you like music, support it. That's what you should do. In surprising news, Bandcamp was just bought by Epic Games, the makers of Fortnite. The owner and creator of Fortnite was said to be a huge metal fan and rock fan. Bandcamp's CEO promises they're not gonna change their format or anything about the brand, just make it bigger and take it worldwide. Fingers crossed, we love Bandcamp. In major metal news, Dave Lombardo, formerly of Slayer, is the new drummer of Testament. There was a lot of suspense as to who would replace the departed Gene Hoagland last month who left after 10 years. But Dave is back in Testament. He performed on the album The Gathering. Perhaps we'll hear more of that album on the tour upcoming The Bass Strikes Back featuring Testament, Exodus, and Death Angel. Progressive Rockers Tool have released a new version of their classic single, Opiate, the title track from their debut EP released 30 years ago next week. This is the version the band has been playing live for some time and they will drop their first new music video in a very long time on March 18th for Opiate as well. The grandmother or godmother of rock and roll is Sister Rosetta Tharp. If you don't know who she is, get acquainted and check her out. Gibson Guitars created and dropped a documentary dedicated to Sister Rosetta Tharp, as well as a reissue of the classic Gibsons she preferred to play. The Juno Awards, Canada's version of the Grammys, has announced their nominees for the awards this year, including Metal Album of the Year. Some of those nominees include some of our favorite bands, like Spirit Box, Archspire, Brand of Sacrifice, Danko Jones, The Agonist, and others. Drama and lineup changes may have come to the last 10 seconds of life, the popular Pennsylvania deathcore band. Only their founding guitarist Wyatt is remaining as the entire band has quit. We will bring you more news on this as it unfolds. Ministry has dropped a brand new video for their single, Sabotage is Sex, featuring Jello Biafra of Dead Kennedy's fame. This is Jello Biafra's first ever music video appearance. Unbelievable. Ministry is heading out soon on tour with Melvin's and Corrosion Conformity. Papa Roach has announced a new album, Migo Trip, and dropped a new single and video. They're heading out on tour soon with Hollywood Undead and Bad Wolves. Brutal hardcore band Body Snatcher has announced their new album, Bleed Abide, and you can check out the new single and video for the track, EDA, right now. Marilyn Manson has been the subject of many investigations and cases and lawsuits the last few years. He is now clapping back suing actress Evan Rachel Wood, his former girlfriend, over her abuse allegations that led dozens of women to coming forward against the shock rocker and actor and the LA Sheriff's Department investigation into Manson as well as a raid of his home last year. More news on this story as we get it. The band Ghost will be releasing their new album Impera via Loma Vista Recordings next week and they just dropped a killer new single and lyric video for the song 20s. Check it out. And now for a look at some of the music on New Music Friday. Cadaveria, The Shadows Madam Rindis, Time to Kill Records, Crowbar, Zero and Below, Monarch Heavy, End Time, Impending Doom, Heavy Psych Sounds, The Flower Kings, by Royal Decree, Inside Out Music, Half, All That Was Promised, Willow Tip Records, Germ, the Tunnel, The Well, Holy Bethlehem, Ripple Music, Quo Laman Laxo, Kusumu, Svart Recordings, Chris Barris Band, Death Valley Paradise, Mascot Label, Marillion, An Hour Before It's Dark, Ear Music, Sabaton, The War to End All Wars, Nuclear Blast Records, and Sylvain, Nova, Season of Mist. And now for a look in our mailbag. We feature two awesome Super 7 reaction figures. Cliff Burton and Paul Bailoff, thrash metal legends from the Bay Area. Super 7 is a Bay Area based business with stores in the Mission District and also in San Diego, California, where Comic Con happens. We salute you, Super 7. Hail and rest in power, Cliff and Paul. You made it to this part of the show, so you know what time it is. It's the end. Ghostcoldman.com is a small business and we appreciate the support. As we say every week at this juncture of the show, it's a tough time in the world. So please, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember, war 
is immoral and wrong.